Portsley Dale. Now, in the last episode, we set up Squirrel Woods Industries over here, and... Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsley Dale. And in our last episode, we set up not only Squirrel Woods, but Squirrel Woods Industry, making the finest plain timber there is. And now today we're going to be expanding this into level 2, but that requires more workers, and that would mean that we need more people in this village of Foxton to get over here. And I also discovered something really weird, like have a look at this. There are people who would walk all the way down the bypass to come to work over here. I mean, that's got to be a good hour or two walk, so we definitely do need to bring in some public transport for them. There's definitely a need there, and also these need to be connected somehow so they can walk into the bottom of Badgerton here. So that's also what we're going to do today while we're waiting for level 2 to kick in. So, level 2 forestry. It's basically exactly the same principle. You know, we start with get a bigger plantation of trees here. We got barracks that bring in industry workers and they increase the infectiveness by 5%. And then we got this a biomass pellet plant. Now what that is is fuel for uh, wood burning power plants. And yeah, very controversial because the ones in the states don't actually replenish the trees. But technically is a green industry. And then we got the sawdust storage, which uh don't know where you'd be storing sawdust. There we go. So let's start from the bottom. A barracks. Barracks doesn't need to be in the actual greenery area where all the resources are. So that can come out here, I think. That'll be a nice way to, you know, show off to the community what they've built and what their community is about. And we can get rid of these ugly pylons. Hopefully. There we go. And actually I'm going to move that in one. Maybe give this a bit of a flam. And then if you need to undo the hill here, all you have to do is back up the roads. And then relay it. Boom. Perfect. There you go, that gives them somewhere to park and things like that. And also, we can push this in just a slight bit. We could deal with the back half later. Oh, it's still in. And there we go. Perfect. There we go, we're just going to forcibly push all that back and then we'll come back and put trees and make that look much more attractive later on. So we're just literally going through slowly but surely and gently building these things up. Small tr Ah, so you can see if we put this out here where it's white, you're only going to get, look at the production value, 1920 units per week. But if we could put it somewhere where it's green, we get much more of that. Look at that 64,000 units. 64,000? We get 6,400 units, so three times the amount from one little area. There we go, boom. And this is the only time where I will build on trees because they're needed for this. So we've got one of these pallet plants, I put another one just down the way. I feel like two of these would be fine. 
Now we need to bring the biomass pellet plant in. That's obviously going to be a nasty, nasty building. So we want that quite far out of the way. So we're going to put it along this back wall here. Use the move it mod. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I know it's it's a little bit cheating, but there we go. When it's all said and done, it is very addictive when you start using it. Come on, let me place it. Let me place it. Perfect. So we can squeeze one of those in there. And obviously, this doesn't need to be. going to relay that I think we're going to relay this whole area because that looks weird so we're going to place our bio pellet manufacturing here and that's going to take even more of these raw materials from these storage units and use them up in the production of this. Oh, it's going to make paper. Okay. So we're going to need a paper storage plant. I mean, we've only got access to the small one. We're going to have it have it right next door, just for efficiency. you are going to store paper. Yeah, keep it balanced for now, why not? Okay, so the raw materials are being collected, put in here and then there, going off to the workshops. All the workshops are busy and active, so let's have a look if we can do a little bit more. We need a sawdust plant. I think this is a slightly larger area of storage for raw products. Let's have a look. Is it a dirt road one? No. There we go. So we're going to try and encourage some like normal factories to come in here as well. So now we just go back and check on our industry area tab. So we've got 350 jobs that need to be filled but we've only got 206 workers and we've got no demand for industry so now we're going to have to expand the town of Foxton to down here so let's get going on that first thing we're going to do roundabout this a classic dead end now if you want to put a load of buildings on this side but not on the other side what you can do is go to well, fences grab any kind of fence just put a border along here and that will get rid of all the building blocks on one side of the road then if you want to bring in a load of houses you can easily bring them in and have four on the other side of this road and we're just going to neaten that up then what happens if you take... wonder what happens if you take it away let's have a quick experiment ah uh, no you need to keep it you need to keep it on there so if we go back and we draw in a little wood fence along here those two up and wonderful so let's welcome more people into the neighborhood let's try and get various size houses and how you can do this is just to quickly go around and to yeah, custom make the squares
you can try and get some same ones by doing the same amount of squares and some different shape ones. And this just brings in like a nice different flavour to your city. We're not gonna like build on there because that is gonna be our green. You know, the village green if you've if you're familiar with it, where all the fates and the fairs happen and stuff. Gonna put a big house in there, yeah, why not? Just remember to also leave some room for some pathways so people can easily walk about your city. Oh, we haven't connected this roundabout up. Right, okay. Let's get on that. Because this is like a residential area, I don't mind there being so many junctions close together. Because as you can see, there's not much traffic coming in. I think I've just affected the houses along there, haven't I? You oh no. You can still get houses along here. They're gonna look ridiculous if I yep. Okay, so let's have a look how that slight change has affected. I see, oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting more people coming in, which means more people need jobs, and they are coming into this area to get them. How also are we doing target-wise? Target-wise, almost there. We need 300 more people to come in before we can level up and have some public transport coming in. So how can we encourage more people to live over here? Well, look at this. Ooh, I've let down this area, haven't I? Right, let's get one of those big greens in. Can we go bigger? We want big. Yes, that's the biggest we've got. Don't want it on the main road. Boom. Plop that in there. What about this other one? We'll plop that one in. There. Oh, perfect. It's almost like I made it that way. And what's the one we didn't? We couldn't fit this one. How could we not fit that one in? Come on. Oh, and look, they're all upgrading. Awesome. See what I love is that you can just have that go across there like that. That looks better. And I don't think you can connect it to the kids park though. But we can have that come out like that. There you go, someone can walk all the way through our parks now. And we'll work on that and flush that out in a bit. Flush, flesh that out in a bit. Okay, so where else can we put leisure activities to make this area a bit more attractive and appealing? Just gonna cut that back because after we leveled it out it's quite rough. So it's a school that's obviously going to need some kind of gymnasium leisure centre so that can go there that fits in nice and perfectly. I think we can get one more in.
Oh, we can, yes. Perfect. So now we're looking. Looking all good up there. Needs a little bit of improvement over here. So maybe Squirrel Wood Industries has decided to lay down a little meet and greet area for people who want to come in and explore the woods. And as our population shot up, it has indeed only 70 away from 60 away now from completing again public transportation. Oh dear, we're running out of power. I think I've got that thing on full over there, so we're going to need to bring in another generator like this. Boom, and we'll instantly turn the budget down to like just 100%. No need for that to be running, both of those to be running full speed. Okay, yeah, we need to bring in a few more houses. And that should just bring in a few more people that we can get buses and then it'll be all good. Boom! And now we have public transportation. So that'll be another episode or a different episode so we are well on our way for making a successful level 2 area we've got 13 tons of production coming in we're making 7 tons of plain timber and 3 tons of paper which is perfect it gives us a little bit of output to sell to other people you know it's a nice nice balance and we've made tons of raw materials we just need to get more workers in which we shall do on the next episode. So just before we go let's have a look at the stress test uh, to see how we're doing on the old motorway junction here and it's still going very very well people are still moving in and are we sure we're nowhere near it? Still gonna get 30 people coming in. Okay. Graveyard. <gasps> we have not placed a single graveyard to help with the death wave. Right, we need to put this in a nice, respectful area of the town. Can we get it on the green? Oh, that would have been nice. I think the church needs to be embedded in the community somewhere, so I think we're going to have to maneuver it to the back here if we can. Camera's going to cost houses. May as well do that. And that way we've got our church to the back there. Yeah, that looks much better. You wouldn't just sling a church on the outside, you'd have a church ingrained in the actual village area. How's the crime happening? So I am going to leave that there because I'm going to make public transport its own separate episode and what we've done today is just to implement level 2 buildings into our forestry area and we have increased the size of Foxton to make it a fully functioning city now that's a much bigger city and yeah I think I'm gonna leave that there and make public transport the next big one and we're gonna expand Badger Town up to the train line bring in some more commercial and also bring down our motorway system so it goes through the middle here so then we can see what we're kind of working with all right guys thank you for joining me and i will see you on the next one bye i hope you enjoyed that and remember to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode oh we still got some seconds why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.